Hey everyone, welcome back to another corner of the internet and welcome to a packing video. Today for me is Saturday the 30th of March and Nick and I leave for our honeymoon on Thursday the 4th of April. So we've got like just under a week to pack so I figured today would be the day to do it. So by the time you see this video Nick and I will be on our honeymoon. I don't know where we will be because I don't know when this video is going live. Um, but of course I will be like Instagramming updates and stuff so there's a link to my Instagram down below if you want to go and follow me there to see like kind of real time where we're at. Um, but on our honeymoon we're going to a bunch of different places that have kind of a lot of different climates. Um, we're going to Banff and Iceland which are definitely going to be like winter cold and then we're going to LA which will be like mild to warm weather and then we're also going to a bunch of other places that are going to be like cold to mild though apparently London which is one of the places we're going is also having like a bit of a um, heat wave during the time that we're there so that would be pretty good so luckily we all also already have warm gears but trying to pack for like so many different climates uh, is a little bit tricky. I've had a little bit of a think about what I'm going to bring on this holiday but not overly so I think what I might do is go get all the clothes that I think I want to take with me out of my wardrobe and then start trying to figure out like what ones are actually I am going to take, what I still need, what's in the wash um, and go from there. into different like piles of what I want to take so I've got like the warmer stuff the warmer climates the kind of general stuff that can be for any climate and then all of like the cold stuff so like my jumpers and things you guys will also have to let me know when you pack do you fold things or do you roll things I am always a roller I just feel like I get more in that way but let me know what you do down in the comments <laughs> since I was last speaking to you, uh, my camera needed to charge. So in that time I've had a little bit of a lunch break and then I've also been decanting some of our toiletries like our shampoo, body wash and that sort of stuff uh, into smaller containers to pack our toilet bag. Uh, and I have also been checking out the weight allowance for all of the different airlines that we are going on. I thought I would also take this time to just share with you two little travel hacks that I have. So the first one is to take something like this along. This is like a uh, luggage wire, like scale, whatever you want to call it. Um, normally if I'm at home I will like weigh my suitcase on the scale but obviously not everywhere that you stay has a scale. So if you want to make sure that you're definitely going to be on the weight limit, if you don't want to have that panic when you get to the airport, when you're like trying to like change stuff between bags so you can actually get your weight allowance or you don't want to pay for like overweight luggage, getting something like this is definitely handy to travel with. My other tip which is a little bit of a money saver is to take a junction box from the country that you live in with you when you travel because it just means that instead of having to buy like two or three different adapters per country that you're visiting you just really need like one adapter for this and then you can plug in all of your like home plugs are all good. Another little hack is to definitely make use of all of the space. So inside these two beanies I am protecting my Polaroid camera and then inside these two beanies I have all of our adapters, that little weight thing I was telling you about as well. One of the other things that I do when I travel as well is take bags like this. This is one that I obviously got from YouTube but I've got another one from VidCon I'm pretty sure. I feel like these bags, you always have some of them laying around your house. Um, but I always take them for our washing because I feel like I don't just want to put like dirty clothes or dirty like socks and underwear just back in my suitcase with all of my clean clothes. So I take one of these and then at the end of the trip normally this like bag is just full with laundry but at least then it's kind of like separated from all of my clean clothes. So my question for all of you uh, who have travelled before is do you plan any kind of itinerary for when you travel? Do you just kind of like go with the flow? Do you have a few things that you know that you want to do but again you just kind of like see when you get there? I'm always curious to know like how people plan trips. I'm sure it will come as no surprise to you guys because I like to be very organised but I have planned somewhat of an itinerary for next and my trip just so we know kind of like what exactly we're going to be doing on one day. So for example like in LA one of the days we're going to be going to Universal and then the other day I've planned a bunch of activities that are like in the same area so that we're not having to kind of like 
go from one end of town to the other so yeah we normally like plan stuff and we don't always do everything on our itinerary sometimes when we're there we decide that there's something else that we want to do more or we just decide that we do just want to walk around but in saying that it is also nice to have at least a few ideas of places that we want to visit before we go somewhere so that like it's less stress when we get there to have to try and figure out everything that we have to do in that city one part of our honeymoon that i am not looking forward to is having to leave little Subi behind obviously she can't come with us but i'm definitely gonna miss her while we're away as you can see that feeling is definitely not mutual <laughs> okay so nick is home and we are filling his suitcase and i just came in to chuck some stuff in his suitcase and look who i found she is literally breaking my heart i feel like she knows that we're going away and this is her way of saying that she wants to come with us Okay, so I thought I would round off this video by letting you know what I'm going to be doing with all of my plant babies while we're on our honeymoon. Luckily, most of our plants live in the bathroom anyway, and the ones that live in the lounge and other areas of the house, I have just brought them in here. Because as you can see, we have this like frosted uh, thing on our window, so they can get light, but it's not like direct sunlight. With most of the plants, they are in like the plastic pot that we bought them in inside the pot so I've actually just gone and filled all of like the plant pots with water so that they can soak that up as and when they need it. Um, this plant is in a container but the container is normally quite tight so I've just chucked it in an ice cream container for now. Same with this one, it didn't actually have a container so I've just chucked it in an ice cream container. This one had this little pot that's back here but it's got one of those little like, I don't know what you call it, like a plate thing underneath it and I was worried it wasn't going to be getting enough water which is why that's also sitting in a container for this little plant here which let's be honest is kind of already dying anyway um and this one here they are planted directly into the planter and they don't have holes in the bottom so instead i'm going to test out that like string thing that you can do uh if you have plants like that so essentially i'm going to fill this little tupperware container with water and i'm going to chuck both of those plants in the bath and i'm probably will put this like up on the shelf and have a bit of twine going from here down into the separate plants and apparently the water is supposed to like soak down um, the twine and then like give the plants enough water. I'm really hoping it does work because this, this plant as I said is already dying doesn't really matter but this one is one of my favorite plants and it's been growing a lot more since I moved it into the bathroom and it's been getting a bit more light so I really don't want to kill that but yeah here's hoping all my plants survive the journey um, I will probably let you know if they survive when we get back from our honeymoon. I think that's all I have to show you in my packing video as well. So I might leave this video here. I'm going to get back to cooking dinner. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I feel like by the time you see this, we'll probably be like almost at the end of our honeymoon, which is real sad. Um, but yeah, as I've talked about before, I'm going to be vlogging the trip but those vlogs will come in may so keep an eye out for them uh, i hope you guys are all having a wonderful april and i'll see you all later on bye